NASA has successfully averted a problem. Its engineers had sent a wrong signal to Voyager 2 and had lost contact for nearly about 10 days. NASA's longest-lived space mission is dying. The Voyagers were supposed to spend only four years in space. But after four miraculous decades, Voyagers are still sending terrifying new images back to Earth that we have never seen. From unearthing the biggest volcanoes in the solar system to exploring new laws of gravity altogether, Voyagers are a force to be reckoned with. Join us as we take a deep dive into the terrifying interstellar secrets unraveled by NASA's Voyagers. Let's get started. A Scientific Miracle NASA has made groundbreaking discoveries in our solar system and beyond. It is always looking for new ways to explore the universe and probe into the mysteries that stand in our way to discover what lies beyond us. However, there's one NASA mission that exceeded all expectations. We are talking about its interstellar probes, Voyager 1 and 2 that now serve as NASA's long-lived missions. In the early 1970s, there was a lot of emphasis on exploring other parts of the solar system that were not the moon. By then, the United States of America had become a space force that was unparalleled. Its space agency was optimizing robotic interstellar probes to collect data from the planets that were further away from our planet, Earth. This is when the initiation of the Voyager began. The plan was to send the probe to collect images and scientific data from the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn, as well as the ice giants Neptune and Uranus. However, NASA scientists were worried that a double trip might cause Voyager to malfunction, and this is when they decided to send Voyager 2 to orbit around Neptune and Uranus. That was back in 1977. Believe it or not, the Voyager probes were supposed to complete their mission within four years, and then they were either to be disposed of or decommissioned altogether. But then a scientific miracle happened. Even after a long proby of four years, the Voyagers didn't wear off. Sure, there were multiple computer-related malfunctions here and there, but for some mysterious reason, the probes remained active in collecting and transmitting data. Even the idea itself is shocking. A technology that was probably engineered in the late 1960s is going strong in the year 2023. It is also true that NASA scientists are working profoundly hard to keep the Voyagers alive. Just recently, they were able to fix the computer malfunction in Voyager 2 from miles away, but that miracle was short-lived. In July 2023, NASA had accidentally sent a wrong command to Voyager 2, which caused it to go off orbit. And eventually, it lost contact with the main server in the NASA headquarters. Yet once again, NASA engineers were able to restore full contact with Voyager 2 after sending a software update signal from 12.3 billion miles away. Plus, scientists are also hoping to restore the computational glitches in Voyager 1 after it lost all communication with Earth in December 2023. To be fair, the mission was already glitching, and engineers knew that it was about time that Voyager 1 would stop responding to all computational signals altogether. But you see, NASA is desperate to keep the Voyagers in operation, not that it does not have the technological evolution that can't match the Voyagers, but because the probe's orbit has yielded terrifying discoveries. Since our universe is largely unexplored, NASA has been making use of these mind-boggling discoveries to answer the big questions that shroud our understanding of space. In its first ever rodeo, Voyager opened the horizons of space, discovery, for the first time ever, NASA had clear pictures of planets further away from our home, like Jupiter. And the pictures that Voyagers would send back to Earth would change the trajectory of space exploration forever. What Voyager 1 saw at Jupiter. There was a specific reason why NASA had rushed to design and deploy the Voyagers. The agency's data had shown that Jupiter and Saturn would have a rare planetary alignment, which would allow the orbit to take their close-up pictures. So. The success of the Voyagers was highly contingent on the orbit around the gas giants and the data collected. And well, Voyager 1 delivered. Voyager 1 began to take photographs of Jupiter in January 1979. It was able to produce 500,000 photos of the planet which superseded the quality of the pictures that were taken from Earth. In fact, their voyage to Jupiter and planets beyond that was a complete rebrand for the centuries-old information we had about the solar system. The photographs showed physical, geological, and atmospheric processes that were completely foreign to our existing planetary knowledge. But NASA scientists didn't expect to see a red, hot, boiling sea that was brewing in the solar system. 
pictures collected by Voyager 1 showed that there was active volcanism on the satellite low. This was the first time that an active volcano was seen anywhere in the solar system except for Earth. The images were terrifying. A vacuum that was largely considered to be a cold, pitch-black void was suddenly posing new geological features. The discovery of active volcanism on the satellite Io was probably the greatest surprise. It was the first time active volcanoes had been seen on another body in the solar system. It appears that activity on Io affects the entire Jovian system. Io appears to be the primary source of matter that pervades the Jovian magnetosphere, the region of space that surrounds the planet, primarily influenced by the planet's strong magnetic field. Sulfur, oxygen, and sodium apparently erupted by Io's volcanoes and sputtered off the surface by the impact of high-energy particles were detected at the outer edge of the magnetosphere. Initially, scientists assumed that the Moon had one active volcano while the others were passive. Voyager 1 quickly changed that perception. It turned out that only a single moon in Jupiter is laced with more than 400 active volcanoes, and the most dangerous of them all was named Loki Patera, after the Norse god. Loki is the largest volcanic depression on the moon low. Its diameter was measured to be 202 kilometers. NASA describes Loki as the most powerful and active volcano in the solar system, and their theoretical underpinnings were proven right in 2002 in geophysical research letters that Loki erupts every 500 days or so. Its sulfur-infused lava is undoubtedly poison for any human. And even if after breakthrough technological advancement an astronaut is able to walk on Jupiter's surface, they might as well drown in lava on any given day. You see, there was a reason NASA named the volcano Loki. Just like the god of mischief from Norse mythology, the volcano itself is highly unpredictable. It has shown the capacity to erupt within 400 days as well. So, a single moon in Jupiter is responsible for making the biggest layer of magma in the solar system. It's a matter of mystery if the planet hides more active volcanoes or not. But that wasn't the end of the terrifying mysteries made by the Voyager probes. Just like its counterpart, Voyager 2 was also successful in achieving its mission to probe past Uranus and Neptune. Is NASA hiding a big secret? The robot became the first ever mission to fly by Uranus, which was largely believed to be a featureless planet. But during the flyby, Voyager 2 had taken photos of 10 new moons of the planet. However, what really shocked scientists was the rings of the planet. Previously, Uranus was only believed to have nine rings until Voyager 2 discovered more. The discovery of the two new rings led scientists to change their initial assumptions about a large featureless planet. The exciting discovery was perhaps that of an oceanic body that looked regal under the top cloud surface on Jupiter. There wasn't substantial evidence to figure out how large the oceanic body was, but NASA was shocked to see how the water on the surface was boiling. That's right. Voyager 2 had discovered a boiling ocean of water. This particular terrifying feature had unarguably surprised NASA scientists, yet at the same time, they were hopeful to find some form of bacterial life on Uranus that would give life from the boiling hot water. Of course, Voyager 2 could not help with that discovery. If anything, it left the scientists with more questions than answers because its images of the moon, Miranda, had shown something disturbing. Scientists could see a picolier, univen, and strange object on the surface of Miranda that did not look like anything on planet Earth. According to the agency itself, the images of the moon taken by Voyager 2 showed a strange object whose surface was a mishmash of peculiar features that seemed to have no rhyme or reason. Not to mention, NASA had gotten very clear-cut images of Miranda because that was Voyager 2's closest flyby in the history of its deployment. The range between the large moon and the probe was about 28,000 kilometers. So, if NASA wasn't able to identify the peculiar object lying on the surface of Miranda, the chances were that we were perhaps looking at something beyond human comprehension. Perhaps, something extraterrestrial. For decades, alien theorists and enthusiasts have forced NASA to publish thousands and thousands of pictures that Voyager probes have taken. They believe that NASA is extremely selective about the information it agrees to make public. Are the theorists looking for concrete proof to argue about extraterrestrial presence? Definitely. But as usual, NASA's Voyager directory is either too limited or simply inaccessible. Why is Neptune terrifying? However, 
NASA was more forthcoming towards Voyager 2's discoveries on Neptune, which left many of us completely dumbfounded. For years, NASA had assumed that there was limited geological activity on the planet. But once again, they were proven wrong, as Voyager 2 was rattled with strong winds hurling around in Neptune. The pictures taken by the probe also revealed something unusual about the planet's largest moon, Triton. While Voyager 2 was only able to photograph three-thirds of the moon, it was still successful in capturing a nitrogen ice volcano on its surface. The solar planet features hot magma spread and active volcanoes for the most part. So, a vast ice-cold geological feature was terrifying to study altogether. But what really shocked the scientists were the two rings on Neptune that were never believed to be there. NASA had only focused on Uranus to study the ring formation in the solar system. And well, they were missing out because Neptune's rings were virtually just arcs of dust and particles. But here's the weird part. These arcs of dust and particles were clustered together to form a ring surrounding Neptune. We know what you're thinking. The laws of physics in the solar system are precise. And this is precisely why dust and other particles should spread outwards in the solar system. Well, that doesn't happen. These rings definitely have a gravitational effect that scientists couldn't explain or even begin to see in the first case. So, the mystery behind Neptune's gravitational pull is, well, a mystery. The discovery of the veil. But then Voyager 2 was also successful in expanding the horizons of our understanding of outer space. There was always a long argument about the existence of an invisible veil that separated our solar system from interstellar space. Scientists have termed this boundary, or the veil, as the heliopause. Theoretically, its existence made sense, but scientists didn't have ample evidence until the Voyagers started to receive intense low-frequency radio emissions coming from beyond the solar system. Needless to say, they were terrified. Were they finally getting a communication signal from the extraterrestrial beings? Well, the explanation proved to be far more simple but equally groundbreaking. The Voyagers were probing near the heliopause. The radio signals were created as the electrically charged gas from the sun was interacting with the cold interstellar gas. The Voyagers had detected the signal near the boundary between the solar system and the interstellar space. The discovery would change everything. Today, Voyagers are running out of computational power, yet their discoveries remain monumental and terrifying. Enjoyed the video? Give us a like and subscribe to our channel.